Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar over here and today we will look at a question on PNC. So kindly solve the sum first and then resume the video. So in this particular sum it is given that in how many ways can 7 identical erasers be distributed among 4 kids in such a way that each kid get at least 1 eraser but not more than 3 eraser. Now we can let's say look at 2 methods to solve this particular question. Let's look at the first one using a sort of case by case method. So if you look at over here that since no one can get more than 3 which would mean that the max a kid can get basically is going to be a 3 eraser since the total of 7 erasers are there. So let's look at case number 1. We have 4 kids and suppose if I say one of them basically gets a 3 eraser then how many are remaining? We have 4 more eraser to be given among 3 let's say friend such that each one gets at least 1. Now the only possibility would be to split the number 4 in terms of 2, 1 and 1. So one more guy gets a 2, other guy gets a 1 and the fourth guy basically gets a 1 over here. Now we need to find out the number of case for this first. Now what I can do in this particular case is, so one of the person gets 3. Who is that person? I can choose that guy basically in one way. Then we have basically one more person going to receive 2 eraser. Let's find out that particular person. I can choose that guy basically in 3C one way. But now please note that the remaining two people are going to get one eraser each. I don't need to do any further selection over here. So if I look at over here, one get nothing but 4C1 into 3C1 giving us the number 12 cases are there. Then if I look at one more case, which is going to be, what about if I say one guy basically gets a 2. If one guy basically gets a 2, then how many are remaining? We are supposed to give 5 more eraser and we have let's say 3 friends over here or 3 kids over here. Can I say in this particular case, since I have taken 2 to be the maximum and I basically have 5 more eraser to be given among 3 kids over here, the possibility could be a 2, 2 and 1. Now in this particular case, thing become much much easier because one of the person is going to get 1 eraser and rest will, will get equal number of erasers 2, 2 and 2 over here. So my task is to only figure out who is the guy who received this 1 eraser. It could be a let's say kid number 1, kid number 2, kid number 3, kid number 4 over here. So one can say this particular case nothing but 4C1 giving us 4. So if you add the number 12 plus 4, one get nothing but 16 and that basically becomes our answer. So answer must be option number 1 here. Let's look at one more way to solve this particular sum after I break them into 3, 2, 1 and 1 over here. We have 4 friends, so 4 factorial divide by this two people get the same number of let's say erasers. So I will divide by 2 factorial and you will get nothing but 24 divided by 2 giving us a number 12. Now in the second case 2, 2, 2, 1 over here, one can say total number of case should have been a 4 factorial. But we have let's say 3 people each getting nothing but 2, 2 and 2 eraser and that basically is nothing but going to be a 3 factorial. So one get nothing but 24 divided by 6 giving us a number 4. And if someone add the number 12 and 4, 1 get the number 16 and that simply mean my answer has to be option number 1 here. Let us now see one more method using the partition theory. So what I can say in this particular case is suppose the first child or first kid gets x number of eraser, second person get x2 number of eraser and so on. So one can see over here that x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 should be equal to 7. So you want to distribute 7 identical object among 4 kids such that everyone get at least 1. So please note that for each of this number, let's say x1, x2, x3, x4, we do have a constraint that they have to be at least 1 and maximum 3. It can't be more than 3, it has to be max equals to 3 over here. So now if I use the concept of partitioning and if I say I want to divide an identical object among let's say R friend such that everyone get minimum 1 or one can say no group is empty, the number of case comes out to be nothing but n minus 1 CR minus 1. So in this particular case since I have 7 object, 7 minus 1 becomes a 6 and since we have 4 kids, I want to do only 3 partitions 4 minus 1. If someone evaluates 6C3, they get nothing but 20 as their answer. But now, you also need to be careful. In this 20 cases, do we have a case when someone basically where you can say x1 is more than 3 
and we will look at those cases. So let me ask you if x1 is 4 for example, then we have 3 more eraser and we have 3 more friend each receiving at least 1. There can only be one case like that. So if I look at this particular case where someone you can say x1 getting a 4 then same number of cases is going to come for x2 receiving 4, x3 getting a 4, x4 getting a 4. So if I ask you how many cases are there we can have 4 such cases and I want to subtract them which is going to give me nothing but 20 minus 4 giving us the number 16 and again my answer become option number 1 here. Please note that in this 20 cases we can't have a scenario where x1 becomes equals to 5. If x1 becomes equals to 5, we have 3 more friend and we only have 2 more eraser. In that particular case, one guy basically will get 0 eraser, but as per the condition, that is not the possibility. Hence, I am not taking the case of x1 becoming a 5 or a 6 or a 7 for that matter. Now, if you have understood this particular concept, kindly solve the replica question and put your answer in the comment section. Happy learning.